I want to talk about E. coli rockets. Sounds awesome, right? E. coli rockets. This is from Stars and Stripes. The Army wants to make missile fuel using gut bacteria. Yeah, very cool. Let's see here. Military researchers are helping scale up the use of E. coli to produce fu fuel for Hellfire missiles. Part of a larger push to manufacture small batches of specialty chemicals in cheaper and cleaner ways using microbes. The use of gut bacteria to make missile propellant is a larger proof of concept for the Army's expansion of biological manufacturing capabilities. The hope is that it will wean the U.S. military off chemicals derived from crude oil in costly petrochemical facilities and often available through limited suppliers. The Combat Capabilities Development Command Chemical Biological Center said in a statement, Many crucial chemicals are either manufactured by a single source domestically or worse yet, inside foreign nations that may not always be willing to supply us, said Peter Emanuel, the center, center's senior research scientist for bioengineering. Emanuel leads the center's biomanufacturing bio initiative, part of what he calls manufacturing revolutionary uh, revolution that can make United States self-sufficient. Oh, a self-sufficient United States? Hmm. Like an energy independent United States. Doesn't that sound great? Doesn't that sound like some, wait a minute. We just had that. We just had that and not anymore. We are no longer energy independent. We now have to go across seas for oil again and gas. Now, look, I am all for getting off of fossil fuels. Don't get me wrong. I would love to move on to a new kind of an engine that doesn't, you know, that has like its perpetual motion that, you know, lasts forever. And like, I would love to advance technology that we can do that and not use, um, you know, the, the resources on planet Earth. But as it stands, we cannot do that. We can't just stop society as it stands right now. Okay, we need to, you know, keep the wheels moving because we've built society up as it is. Okay, I understand that. So we need to wean into a different situation. And uh, being energy independent and not worry or paying other countries or sending money elsewhere. I mean, there's a lot right there to break down, but... I would love to be energy independent. All right, growth in the bio industry industrial sector could see the US face off with China in a superpower manufacturing technology race in the coming years, officials said. But it could also provide an economic boost while reducing the financial and environmental costs of manufacturing. Here is a picture of Anna Crumbly, a research chemical engineer, removes the solids from a new batch of fermented microorganisms May 11th, 2021 at the Aberdeen Proving Ground, uh, Maryland. The, bio, uh, the Chemical Biological Center is working on using bacteria to make missile propellant, among other applications. And that's the inter inter interesting part that caught me. Among other applications, what else could this be used for? Because if we could use this kind of stuff for missile propellant, why couldn't we use it for uh, all things? If we could be growing, you know, bacteria to use as propellant, can this be used in space? It's always, it's always where I go. Like, could we basically create a system, some sort of like a, a you know, fuel tank that is part, uh, almost like a stomach, right that will be brewing e coli or bacteria and then there's a part that siphons it to another part of the the tank that turns that into a propellant that then goes into like the pure tank that then uses to be a propellant so like a i don't know using bacteria to keep growing and using that as a fuel source biomanufacturing relies on bacteria and other microorganisms with modified dna to produce materials that are costly and impossible to obtain otherwise, including high-energy chemical compounds used in explosives. The, Ar the Army's biomanufacturing facility cultivates the microbes that it uses to ferment liquid held in large, shiny steel vats, just like in a microbrewery, its statement said. The production of Hellfire missile fuel will be the first major proof-of-concept project for the center's expanded and upgraded facility at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland and will address an immediate defense need, officials said. The facility will produce the fuel's chemical precursor, called BT, 
which the Defense Department currently gets from a single U.S. supplier. Other Department of Defense labs will help manufacture the final product, called BTTN. Establishing an alternative domestic source for this fuel is important because the Hellfire is the U.S. military's weapon of choice for precision strikes on high-value targets, the center says on its website. The fuel is used in virtually all single-stage missiles in the U.S. arsenal because it is more stable than nitroglycerin, the site said. But traditional manufacturing costs make it economically infeasible to use more than 1,500 pounds of BT a year in BTTN production. Navy-funded researchers, Navy researchers at Michigan State University found in 2007 report to, to reach desired production levels, the cost would have to be driven down uh, two-thirds to about $15 a pound. The Michigan State researchers used genetically engineered E. coli and fiber from corn hulls to produce half a liter of 99% pure form of BT through a process that was relatively environmental, uh, in, relatively environmentally benign. That's funny, the word relatively. It was relatively environmentally benign, uh -huh, uh -huh, which could estimated... Uh, could be improved to yield the chemical for less than $19 a pound, so almost there. The Chemical Biological Center, which is slated to receive some $24 million over the next five years for expansion and upgrades, did not provide a price per pound estimate for its effort to scale up for that process. When construction for the biomanufacturing facility is completed and it is ready to go and run at full capacity within about two years, the center plans to market it as a go-to place for producing high-value chemicals with military applications. These could include energy-dense propellants and explosives, reactive coatings and textiles, optical and sensor materials that could bend light, new therapeutics such as antimicrobials and vaccines, says Henry Gibbons, a microbiologist and programmer manager, program manager in charge of the center's expansion effort. I just think this is really interesting how, so, so it's very military-esque, right? But that's where a lot of the money is. We gave, the United States gave Palestine $200 million a month ago. Damn, what do you think they you know, did with that money? Now we just sold Israel $700 million worth of, uh, of gear. This is all it's about. But it starts there, right? I mean, this this right now is they're they're doing this because they want their own propellant. But this could lead to, you know, something that isn't military based, okay? And I, that's what I I hope for because I don't, I don't like this war, dude. I don't I don't want people fighting each other or shooting rockets. Like I would love to live in a world that doesn't require uh, rockets, but we're not there, okay? We, we aren't there right now, and it's it's a sad case.